please don't sneeze, please don't cough, we're going to get through this Natalie, we can power through the cold. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, so today's video is my monthly favourites for the month of, we're in October, so September. I've collected a real mismatch of items, things, that I've been loving this month. If I sound a bit nasal, I'm sorry, I have a cold and I am fighting through it, because I'm a trooper and germs are not going to get me down. Uh, 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 you are not getting me. Where do I start? Let's start with makeup. Never normally start with makeup. So, a little, my own little collection here. I feel like I'm moving and transitioning into autumn makeup now, which I really, really enjoy because it's all about like copper tones and copper colours and it kind of matches my hair. So, I kind of enjoy it quite a bit. We'll start with lip products. I've been loving the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Bombshell. Love this. It's like that perfect nudie colour that goes matte. Uh, yeah, you can see it's just lush. And it goes matte and it's really, really nice. It lasts all day. It's the first item I bought from Huda Beauty. And I know Huda Beauty is quite expensive, but it was completely worth it. I have had this a long time and it's still lasting. And the fact that it lasts all day long and it goes the perfect nude worth its weight in gold next is two lip liners one is the urban decay it was not actually it's the urban decay eyeliner it's the 24 7 glide on pencil this is in the shade torch it's actually an eyeliner but i use it as a lip liner because you can use the formulation on your eyes and your lips and i think it's a really really nice lip liner and i think it goes really really well with the huda beauty and then i also use this because i've been doing like an ombre lip which i really enjoy and i've been using it with mac well so three together i don't know if my hands are gonna be a bit crooked aren't they three together work really really well and create that perfect autumnal look this is what i've actually got on my lips right now i'm gonna go into an eyeshadow which is actually a pigment i think i mentioned this in last month's video and it is the color that i've been wearing all the time i haven't got it on my eyelids at the moment but it was in my vlog yesterday and whenever i put it on my insta stories everyone's like oh my god what have you got in your eyes this little bad boy it's the mac pigment in copper sparkle i have had this pigment for years and i'm not ashamed to say that they last absolutely ages you literally need the tiniest amount of products i put a bit of the urban decay eyeshadow primer on my eyelid and then pat this in and it gives the most vibrant coppery color ever Skin. so i've been using the nars radiant creamy concealer i was recommended this and i absolutely love it it covers up my dark bags under my eyes which i seem to be getting a lot of recently it covers up imperfections really really well and it is the perfect shade i bought this on asos this is in the shade custard the only thing i'll say is that nars aren't in norwich so you have to kind of guess your shade which is really really tricky unless you know someone who's got like the similar foundation shade to you in another foundation and then you can ask them and then find out your shade so it's a bit beaten about the bush unless you can get to a, like a nars stockist but if nars could come to norwich i would really really appreciate it because loads of people tell me all about your products but if i don't know my skin color then it's hard to buy because i don't want to buy something and then it's just sat in my drawer because it's the wrong shade i don't know if that none at all and then my foundation if you watched my weekly vlog a couple of weeks ago you'll know that i was working with mac in gerald's and they wanted me to go in there because they brought out new look additional shades to their foundation collection hell yeah i love mac foundation i've been using the, the estee lord double wear for a little while because i felt like i was in a bit of a not a rut but i've been using the same foundation for years and now i'm fake tanning it, the foundation just didn't match to my skin color so i just thought whilst i'm changing and might as well change up and maybe use a different brand and i've gone back to studio fix fluid i used to use this when i was like 18 and I used to use it all the time and then I went on to studio sculpt because I felt like I needed full full coverage and I'm back to this little bad boy I absolutely cannot get enough of this I'm in the shade NC20 last time I got colour matched I was NC10 which shows you just how much darker my skin is now <laughs> I'm literally not giving Casper a run for his money anymore I really really love it it gives me that perfect coverage it's really really buildable it's not cakey on the skin which a lot of foundations can be quite cakey it gives me that perfect airbrushed glow to my skin that everybody's after if we're honest it's that perfect day to night foundation literally i can put this on in the morning 
and it's still there in the evening like when I wipe off my makeup in the evening with my cleanser and stuff there is still a sizable amount of product that is still left on my face and even after the gym this makeup is still on my face yes I am one of those people who go to the gym with full face makeup on but that's because I'm vlogging and you guys don't need to really see my non makeup free face it's not, it's not the best so if it lasts through my sweaty now 7.5k running in the gym then it's definitely a little thing you all need to be getting on to. I'm going to move on to miscellaneous objects now and then I'm going to finish with fashion. So miscellaneous objects, first thing is food. Oreos, I literally cannot get enough of Oreos at the moment. They're the best thing to be dairy free, ever invented and I feel like I have a really really sweet tooth at the moment. So they are hitting that spot perfectly. I never really understood the Oreo thing. I've recently discovered Oreos, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I must have discovered them in the past two, three months. When I went to Bali two years ago with my best friend, she was like, Natalie, they've got all different flavours of Oreos here. And I was like, all oh, right, okay, so they've got loads of different flavours of biscuits. Didn't really understand it. Now if I went to Bali, I feel like I would pick up every flavour of Oreo that would be, and I wouldn't be ashamed. But I've been loving the double cream ones. They're like, epic. And yes, I twist them, I take the cream out, and then I eat the biscuit, because got to be a bit extra, didn't you? Next thing is a drink. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Gingerella. Love this stuff. This is made by Kama Cola Company. I love ginger. Anything ginger, I feel like I need to like it. I need to love it. And with cold season coming and approaching, get that. Get that yet. Yeah, I've got the cold early. Ginger is a great way to kick any sort of cold vibe uh, I don't really know how to word that I'm not thinking of wording but ginger beer has literally been my drink of the month I know it's a bit of a weird drink but I've been loving it and ginger ale has been my favourite one to drink and I love the bottle and I've always said if I have a child and her hair is ginger that is going to be her name ginger ale <laughs> this is probably one of my favourite things I've been sent to date yeah a thousand percent so I love Love Island and I love that they all have their own little water bottles now Ginger Nally has her own little water bottle. One of the companies that I work with very, very closely, who is a Norwich branded uh, company, messaged me saying, Natalie, have you got my parcel? And I was like, no, what's in it? She's like, Natalie, you're going to love it. And it should open up the parcel when it arrived. And I was like, <gasps> hyperventilating. Deb was like, what are you doing, Natalie? And I was like, I literally had no words and just showed him. I was like, Ginger Natalie, I have my own Ginger Natalie bottle life doesn't get any better than this and he's like it's a bottle with your name on it I was like yeah but it's like a love island bottle it's an orange it says ginger natalie on it like dad come on get with the times I really really love it it's perfect for me to take to the gym it's a great size and if you pop the lid here it's got a handle simple minds please simple things evidently but I really really love it I'm so so happy next is a book I know what's happened to me I've been recommending this book for quite a while and because I'm not really a reader of books, I didn't really buy a book. I felt like I wanted to kind of re-educate myself and try new things and be a bit more adult. You can try. So this book here. The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck. Because I spend way too much of my time worrying what other people think of me, what I should be doing, what I think I should be doing, and necessarily putting myself and my thoughts on the back burner in hope that I'm helping other people and doing what they want me to do and caring way too much really and this book has literally been a complete and utter mind changer it's about spending time on things you want to do and not feeling like you should please everybody i'm on page 150 and i've been reading this for like four days like i'm seriously addicted it's got like sections on how to decide not to give a fuck sorting your fucks into categories the magic of not giving a fuck dramatically transforms your life like threat levels of not giving a fuck it's just so so good and it's literally changed my mindset so you all need to get onto this if you care too much about what other people think about you get this book now we're getting on to fashion so okay we're gonna start with a belt random this belt i bought this probably about three years ago in primark and i never used it i'll be honest it's literally been in my drawer of belts and i've never ever used it and one of this season's biggest trends is animal print was going to buy a belt and then I was like hang on let me just check my drawer because I'm sure I've got a belt already got one this is a black and white faux snake sprint I snake skin I think I bought this for like three pounds about god knows how many years ago and I love it it makes a great alternative to my Gucci belt which I feel like I wear all the time but it's because it goes everything and it was literally the best investment I ever did 
ever made or did but this has been the perfect alternative and it ticks off to that animal print trend really really easily like put this in a pair of jeans and a white tee and you are still in with the trends next is a pair of jeans these are from zara i think she's these in my zara haul last month i think they are the basic mum jeans i love these jeans they are so comfy i love the dark wash i think they look great in the as we're now going to like the cooler months i think dark wash looks so much nicer with like jumpers and stuff i love the fit of them i love the high riseness of them i have rolled them up at the ends because i'm still toying as to whether i'm going to um cut them or whether I'm just going to keep them rolled up because if I keep them rolled up then I will be able to wear them with higher shoes but I also love that frayed hem kind of look to a jean so I don't know what I'm going to do but at the moment they're still rolled up and I'm still enjoying wearing them and they're only like £25 so Zara love your love your denim what is that <laughs> getting attacked by my own hair next is a jumper I bought this from a charity shop I absolutely love charity shops with jumpers because I think that a lot of the high street shops on the high street are asking way too much for jumpers like 40 50 pound for a jumper who's got that sort of money and the chances are oh that's just gone matte can you see that's gone matte now yeah you can see the chances are they're going to get misshapen or i just don't really have good luck with knitwear so i buy a lot of my from charity shops and i bought this one two three weeks ago i love it it's literally like a rainbow version of every green shade it goes really really nicely with my hair i've worn this so so many times and i bought this for 2550 that is another reason why I begrudge spending so much money on jumpers because I know I can get them so so cheap in charity shops and uh, you know a really good thing as well whilst you're doing it and you're saving money and the chances are no one else is going to have this jumper so it's a win-win all round really this is in the size 10 to 12 I never really look at uh, sizing when it comes to knitwear if it looks right if I'm comfy and if it's a good price I'm going to buy it and I love the uniqueness of this and the amount of people that have been like Natalie where's your jump from and I can't tell you because it's a charity shop find is even better is that bad to say that as a fashion blogger maybe <laughs> next is another charity shop item but it is originally from Zara I bought this about three weeks ago in a charity shop and I love it I think it's perfect for layering and Obviously you could wear this in the summer just by itself because it is absolutely beautiful. Look at all those colours, look at that print, it's got a real 60s vibe. But I really like it with a jumper laid underneath. I love the whole layering vibe of autumn and winter, just how you can add different colours, different textures, different patterns, different prints, all in one look in the most effortless way possible. I like that the back has got buttons, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah you can. It's got buttons on the back. I will show you a couple of different ways of way I've styled it on the screen, but I really, really love it. It's a great length. I love the pockets. It's a real 60s vibe, and I'm actually quite excited for layering. My last item. I feel like I need to plump my hair ready for this item because it is literally... This is my most favourite thing of the whole of the Ginger Natalie journey so far. Are we ready? Oh, I literally am so excited to show you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen this because it was my in my 7k reveal photo. I'm now at 7k. Thank you so, so much for every single one of you that follows me. It really does mean the world. But I shot a photo with Chris Harvey Visuals, who is literally an insane photographer. I will leave his link down below to go and check out his work. But I did a little shoot with him because I was like, I need a really, really good 7k photo. And I've got the killer item of clothing to wear for it. So we used some colour flares, like just go and look at the photo basically this is the item that i wore and it's personalized to me by one of my really really good friends which makes it even more special and it is a leather jacket that i have had for i feel like i'm building up a massive suspense here it's a leather jacket that i must have had for about five six years and i fell out of love with it and my friend was like natalie i'll customize it for you and i was like can you like that would be the dream and this is what she gave me back da, da, da. A ginger natalie leather jacket and it's got a heart and lightning bolt and it's got a tear there and on the other side it's got a heart and it's got lips and then it says napple because it's done by ruth nap if you don't follow ruth nap on instagram you need to go and follow her she's the lady who does the pineapples all around the city and she's branching out wherever you go i see these pineapples every single where i go now and she's going to be an insane um graffiti arts in the future i can just tell it she's got that sort of creative energy that you're around her for 10 minutes and you literally feel inspired you feel motivated you feel arty you feel creative and she's just seriously seriously cool she's 
she's just cool. She saw that did my Ginger Natalie graffiti in Norwich. Um, if you didn't see that, I'll put a picture around here. But me and her are now really, really good friends. And she has literally given me the best jacket ever. Now my favourite item. And it's so funny that it's gone from like my worst item to my new favourite item. And I wear this all the time. And the front is like pink. And then this side is red. It's just so, so cool. Okay, so I'm going to talk about two more favourites and then we are done. So my first favourite of the second favourite is my eyebrows. I had these tattooed about two months ago and they're the best thing ever. Now waking up with eyebrows and going to sleep with eyebrows and getting out of the shower and having eyebrows. Like, if you're ginger, you'll know the struggles. If you're not, you probably won't understand it. But to me, they're a life changer. I have so much more confidence when I don't have my makeup on now and it's something I could not recommend enough. Yes, it was painful. Yes, it was also worth it. And yes, I would do it again. And yes, I am going to do it again because it's great. I don't have to do anything to my eyebrows now. Every single day, they are just ready and ready to go, which is amazing. Next is my lashes. I had my lashes, semi-permanent lash extensions done in my weekly vlog last week, I think it was, or the week before, by Permanent Makeup by Eva. She is based in the cottage in Norwich and now waking up with eyebrows and eyelashes, I literally feel like a whole different person. Every single morning, I can wake up and look in the mirror and be like, yeah, Natalie, yeah, you're half decent. The lashes and brows all together at once. A whole new Natalie. Like, I love it. So that's everything that I've been loving for the month of September. Uh, yeah, September, October, October. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I will leave a link down below to everything I've mentioned. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check out my blog. I will also leave a link down below to my vlog because I kind of love filming those right now. Hopefully next time I see you I won't be bunged up and sound slightly like a man because I'm fighting the cold and I'm not going to defeat me. Until next time guys, bye!